Siem Reap, Cambodia, a small town renowned for its iconic ancient temples, its generous smiles, and as a thriving hub for human trafficking. But there is hope. It takes girls out of uh, human trafficking and they place them in a safe environment uh, from 4 to roughly 19 years old. The girls from 15 to 19 are given a job as jewelry makers and what in the end is something like this. They, they fabricate it and then they sell it for the girls. And so I was really amazed by it and I thought, wow, that's such an incredible idea, really inventive. And so what they did surprised me. The girls gave me um, a bracelet for my wedding. So I wore it for one of my days and we, we kept in touch, but it was six months down the line where they were like, how about we collaborate? The students of Sonora are trained in jewelry making and employed to familiarize themselves with fair working conditions and a regular income. Right now I am, um, we're showing our premiere here in New York of uh, Letters to Haiti, which is a documentary that my husband and I and some friend of ours, Bahadi again, Prince Lou, uh, we went to Haiti and um, helped out an orphanage there that was hit by the earthquake and destroyed. Going down there, we realized the kids, although they realize that there's help, they don't really get to see it, they don't get to feel it, so we decided how about we send letters from around the world and make a pen pal program. <laughs> 